I want to start all the way on the East Coast with the Dolphins, okay? Chris Greer. They're faced with this decision I sort of alluded to yesterday. What do they do with Tua? What do the Dolphins do with Tua? He's set to play on his fifth-year option this season. There's some people that think that he, you know, he has not earned an extension because he has not gotten them where they need to go with as talented as they are, meaning win a couple playoff games, win one. How about just one? And there's rumors that Miami might even look to draft a quarterback in the first round this year. Greer came out and cleared some things up yesterday. Here he is talking about the possibility of taking a quarterback uh, and where it all is with Tua and the extension. Yeah, I think it's something when it happens, it happens. We've had communications with him, and um, like we've always, I'll just leave those between the organization and his representation. And it's been good. Um, so we'll just keep working towards it. He's, he's uh, him and his agent are very understanding that this is now the um, draft. So he's letting us focus on that, and and then we'll turn our attention to that uh, after this after the draft finishes. We will always look at every position. Uh, I would say that's not <laughs> someone I'm looking at the first round. It's not a position that we've even talked about. There's some good players, um, but you know we're very happy with Tua and where he is with us. We're very happy with Tua and where he is with us. I'm gonna say because sometimes it's BS. We all have like the rearview mirror of these little clips. It was almost too detailed for me to not buy it. I'm buying this, that Hagee, the organization, they see Tua as their guy. And despite some people saying he shouldn't be, I think he should be. Yes, you want playoff success and wins to come, but that's not the only barometer we should use to measure, use to measure a quarterback's success. So instead of focusing on what hasn't happened yet, look at what he has done, okay? He's had a winning record all four seasons he's been the starter in that division, okay? He's led Miami to back-to-back -back playoff appearances for the first time in over 20 years. He led the NFL in passing last year and a passer rate in the year before that. Are we really going to sit here and completely discredit all of that because he was injured and didn't play in the playoffs one year and then lost to Patrick Mahomes with a decimated roster the next like that's crazy and I think like this unfortunately the Dolphins sort of uh fell to being the first team that this you know the rhythm the momentum of Chiefs hit before waltzing their way to another Super Bowl um and they sort of worked their way through the Dolphins and we somehow like totally discredit what they were as a team obviously facing more injuries than 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 a lot of other squads not to make excuses but listen like and I know by the way a deal isn't done yet for Tua but yesterday sort of confirmed that coaches who are around him every day the people who know him the evaluators who sort of pick apart everything he's done they they see what we're seeing they're not going to the Tua luau uh, and participating and taking time if they're not into him talk is cheap extension talk gets expensive right and the fact that the Dolphins want to make it happen tells me everything I need to know is all I need to know and that they believe in him. So we'll see, I guess, if he takes the next steps and what it'll take for the rest of y'all outside of Miami um, to convince you that he is that dude.